We are actually uh, at the wastewater treatment plant of the, uh, the city. The system we have is to process water contaminated with oil and grease, you know, coming from the site. This system is it's, it's a regular system they use for, you know, sewage system, you know, from the, from the town. So, so and, but they can process, you know, uh, contaminations, oil and gas, you know, oil and, oil, oil and grease, you know, contamination coming from the site with this system. That's why we had to mobilize another system. There's two uh, units here, one there, and we have a, a, uh, a big one also that can take more volume because, you know, we need a lot of volume to, to be able to process all the water coming from the site. So actually, we are able to process up to uh, 1,000 cubic meter per day. So well, that's four or five million liters of uh, contaminated water that was processed in our system. In the beginning, we had to remove you know, the, all the, the, the particles we have inside the water. So that's what we call a suspended solid. So we have uh, filters that will remove this part. There's one tank you know, that contains uh, sand, which is the regular sand for, uh, again, to, uh, to remove the suspended solid. After we have uh, two other filters that, uh, that contain the um, the, the media that was developed by Sanexan, which is the uh, ultra absorption system that I talked about earlier. And uh, at the end, uh, the, uh, the, the water uh, will, uh, the last step of the, the treatment is uh, carbon filters to make sure that everything is removed prior to the discharge to the, uh, to the environment. That's a treated water and that's the raw water. We do, sam we do sample, you know, twice a day. The Ministry of Environment will come here, you know, two or three times a day to make sure to inspect our system. But at the end, you know, all the result we got is, there's, it's non-detectable. You know, all the uh, contaminations is removed prior to the discharge of, uh, to the river.